Starfield has been out for a few weeks, but so far it has been proving itself to be an amazing game. From exploring the vast galaxy to combating humans and creatures, this game truly allows the player to choose their own path with outcomes, good or bad, based on their decisions through interactions. If you are someone like me who enjoys being a completionist, this video is for you. In this video, I will guide you with tips on where to find the creatures, plants, and resources in order to complete the survey scan for each planet, and make some money out of it on the side. If this has piqued your interest, then let's get into it. This survey guide will be for the planet Jemison, which is found within the Alpha Centauri system. Jemison is one of the first few planets you'll come across as you start your journey after you touch an artifact and now you are sent to meet with the constellation. Jemison has a big variety of creatures and plants to discover which will lead you to explore pretty much the entire planet. There are 9 fauna or creatures, 8 flora or plants, 5 resources, and 3 unique traits to the planet. Let's start off with the fauna. The first fauna is the pack coral bug. These creatures have long necks with a flower looking head. Their biomes or locations are within the deciduous forest and the mountains. They are known to travel in groups and are typically wary. However, if you get close enough, they will attack. The second fauna is the apex parrot hawk. These birds are typically found anywhere in all four biomes of the planet. They are defensive in nature and tend to attack the other creatures more so than you unless you make the first move. The third fauna is the Kara Snail Scavenger. These little guys are found in the deciduous forest and the mountains. They are peaceful and roam around carefree. They do provide cosmetic resource which is useful for outpost and gear creation. Next up is the Herding Cutterhead Herbivore. The Cutterheads travel in packs and can be found in the deciduous forest and the mountains. They typically won't attack unless they are threatened. The Hunting Tusk Frog are defensive creatures and will only attack if threatened. They are found in the deciduous forest and the mountain. Number six is the Flocking Sea Bat Geophage. Sea bats are found floating around the boulders and large rocks around the area. They are peaceful so you can basically walk right up to them without worry of being attacked. They are typically found in the deciduous forest and the mountains. Next up is the Herding Reef Walker Scavenger. These guys are found in the frozen mountains and the coniferous forest. They travel in packs and are defensive creatures. As long as you don't give the first blow, they won't attack you. Number eight is the Apex Crocodont. The Crocodont is territorial and will attack you if you get close enough. They are typically found in the forest mountains and the coniferous forest. Last but not least, the Beetle Grazer. The Beetle Grazer is found roaming the frozen mountains and the coniferous forest. Much like the Kara Snail, they are pretty much harmless. Number one on the flora list is the Boreas Root. The Boreas Root looks pretty much like a root growing out of the ground with an orange color, so they stand out pretty well. They are found in the coniferous forest and both mountain types. The second flora is the Tufted Snow Willow. The willow is found in both mountains and the coniferous forest. These stand out by having large bulb-shaped pods growing off the top. The third is the Aurora Palm. This tree has pink leaves and is easy to spot. The palms are found in the deciduous forest and the mountains, and there's plenty of them. Next up is the cold cave nettle. The nettle is found in both the mountains and frozen mountains. These aren't as easy to spot as the boreas root, but what sticks out is the blue flower top. The next flora is the glossy stickweed. Stickweeds are found in the deciduous forest, coniferous forest, and both mountains. You can find multiples within a short distance of each other, so scanning these won't take much time to complete. Number six is the Cliff Laurel. Laurels are found in both mountains and both forests, so basically the entire planet. They don't stand out much, but aren't impossible to find. The seventh flora is the Broadleaf Rose. You'll find these in multiples, so another plant that won't take long to get to 100%. This plant is found in the mountains and the coniferous forest. They stand out quite well with their red flower tops. The final flora is the Spiral Creeper. Spiral Creepers are found in both the Deciduous Forest and the Coniferous Forest. The Spiral Creeper's main body can blend in with its surroundings, but the long green tops are what make it stand out. 
Moving on to the resources, we'll start with the Chlorosilane C. This resource is found almost anywhere on the ground and has a greenish yellow color to it. Center indicates if you've already collected from it or not by having or not having a layer of C. Jemison is covered with lead or that you can mine by using the cutter. Lead is found anywhere on the planet and can be easily spotted using your scanner. Without the scanner, lead will typically blend in with its surroundings. The third resource is chlorine. Chlorine stands out looking like a protruding rock from the ground, emitting gas which is toxic and can affect you when you get close to collect it. Chlorine is found pretty much anywhere on Jemison. The fourth resource is argon. Argon is similar to chlorine regarding its shape and toxic gas it emits. So when you collect it, be quick so you don't expose yourself too long. Argon is found almost anywhere on Jemison. The final resource is water. Water is found anywhere on the planet and has a similar appearance as the chlorosilane seat. Water can blend in to its surroundings, so using the scanner will identify it quicker. Moving on to Jemison's unique traits, first being the Melted Glacier. The Melted Glacier is a tall standing rock, so it's quite hard to miss. The glacier will have blue colored shards on one side with water flowing away from the base. Glaciers are typically found in natural locations, which are discovered by using the scanner. The second unique trait is the sentient microbial colony. The microbial colony are found at natural places. Once you find them, you'll have to scan three of the formations found in the area to complete the scan. The final trait is the ecological concertium, which are also found at a natural location. They are easily noticeable by its white rocks. Like the microbial colony, you'll need to scan three of the hive structures to complete the scan. Keep in mind when you scan the natural location, it will not tell you which one of the traits you'll come across, so it'll take time exploring each natural location to find all three. It takes about 10 scans to complete the survey for fauna and flora. Once you've reached 100% survey for Jemison, you'll be rewarded with a Jemison survey data slate. Here's where you can make some money after your hard work. There are multiple places to sell the data slates, but one of the easier locations you'll soon come across is Vladimir at the Eye, which is a station hovering over Jemison. From my research, Vladimir typically gives you the best price compared to the other vendors. When you first speak to Vladimir, select the dialogue to discuss his artifact search being a full-time job. This will lead you to saying you can get him survey data. If you already have a data slate ready to turn in, the third dialogue option is to tell him you have survey data. This will open up the vendor where you can then sell the survey data you have collected. If you don't already have one, begin exploring, then come back to make some extra credits. And there you have it, all the things to discover on Jemison. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed watching, Please take a minute to give it a like, leave a comment, and become a follower or subscriber to see more videos like this. I hope you have a wonderful time exploring Starfield as much as I do, and I will see you next time. Take care.